Hello, hello, and welcome back. It is the Afro Humanist. So, I've got a, um, a short video for you today. I, um, I happened to see this video of a pastor who I used to know, well, still know, but he has his church and he came on his pulpit and decided to talk about prayerlessness. Now, the whole idea of doing this video is to show um, how Christianity gets itself in a twist and how religion altogether just, uh, uh, just you know, it, you have to wonder how prayerlessness is the worst sin. How is this even... I, I, I don't even know where to begin when they say prayerlessness is the worst sin. So you're telling me that prayerlessness is worse than um, murder, is worse than rape, is worse... Well, let us hear what my pastor friend has to say about prayerlessness. Prayerlessness is worse than any other sin. It's not only a sin, but it's worse than any other sin. It's worse than stealing. It's worse than adultery. In fact, it's worse than, 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 than murder. Why? Because it provides the platform, a conducive environment for every other form of sins to try. So, not praying provides an environment for all the other sins to thrive. In case you did not hear him correctly, yes, he said it. Prayerlessness is worse than murder. You heard him correctly. That's why it's the worst sin and any other sin. When you are not praying, what you are doing is you are, you are preparing the ground for any type of sin to take place. So when you are not praying, you may, what you are doing is you are opening the door for any other sin to take place. Amen. As believers, we have the power, amen, in the place of prayer to dislodge any forces of darkness. Amen. So when we don't pray, what you are doing is you are giving them room to operate. In your place of work, when you don't pray, what you are doing is you are giving the enemy room to operate. So, when you go to work, aren't you supposed to be working? So, when you go to work, you don't pray. So, that means that you're allowing the enemy room to operate. For goodness sake, go to work and do your work. Leave your praying at home or not at work. Come on now. Are we encouraging people to go and pray while they're at work? Is this what we're doing? to you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means cause you so we have no excuse amen we have no reason to complain we have no ground for complaint power has been given unto us as believers and as, as a church to destroy the forces of darkness so when we are not using this power we are committing sin against god Ooh. When we are oh my goodness christians are in trouble though. so if you're not using these powers what god has given you you are committing a sin against god sometimes these pastors get on the pulpit and just say things they don't think when they say these things so you're going to tell me You've been given powers, but when you don't use those powers, you're committing a sin against God. Wow, being a Christian, my goodness, how, how are these people going to survive? They tell you you need God, ah, you need to give your life to Christ, but they don't tell you the hardship. They don't tell you how hard it is to live this Christian life. These people live every day as if they're under some kind of bondage. It is just, how, how can you, how is this life? I'm not using this power 
we are committing crime against humanity. That means we are saying Satan will can operate. But that is destroyed from today in the mighty name of Jesus. Matthew 18, verse 18 to 20. Praise the Lord. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Praise the Lord. So, God has empowered our gathering. Amen? God has empowered our coming together. As a church, as family, maybe in your home, you may to call yourself, okay, let's pray in Jesus' name. Amen? Power is available. Okay. If you pray and you, whatever you pray is bound in heaven, why is it not bound on earth? Shouldn't they all just... Guys, I'm going to show you something. So this is a Christian pastor telling us that prayerlessness is the worst sin. So this is a Christian. I'm going to show you the Muslim version. So I'm going to show you what the Muslim think as well. Okay, just one second. I'm going to show you what the Muslims think about prayerlessness. All right, just one second. I shall be with you. Because we have been polluted. Let me tell you something just for the sake of understanding. Because there's many people who tell me, look, you know, maybe I don't pray a thing, but you don't know what I do in secret. Yeah, you know, maybe I don't pray, but so Allah, I've got a big heart. You know, Allah, you know, I give a lot of money in charity. My brothers and sisters, let me tell you something and understand this as fact. As far as sin is concerned, and please understand this message very, very clearly. Of course, it's all sin, it's all haram, none of it is good and accepted. But for the sake of understanding, because many of us, well, we see a brother that's selling drugs, we see a brother that maybe murdered another brother and we say, Far, look at these people, look how rubbish they are. Habibi, let me tell you something in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As far as sin is concerned, yeah? The one that sells drugs, good or bad? Just very quickly, good or bad? Bad. How about the murderer? How about the one who commits adultery, zina? What about the one who rapes a child? What about the one who drinks alcohol? What about the one who does the biggest of the kabad, good or bad? This person, one person that commits all of these sins, he commits all of these sins on a daily basis, but he prays is better in the eyes of Allah than the one that doesn't commit any of these sins, but doesn't pray. Wow. So you and your brother here, yeah, I'm a good guy. Habibi, God packed that up because it's not going to work on the day of judgment. Any person that misses one... So... This is the Muslim version, and this is him saying, if you miss one one prayer, one prayer, you, the person who misses one prayer is worse than the one who rapes, who murders, who commits all these evil atrocities. This is the Muslim version. We've heard the Christian, this is the Muslim. I mean, let's hear the rest of what he has to say. One salah, one, one, not two. One salah, you miss one salah for no reason. You're worse than a murderer. You're worse than a rapist. You're worse than a terrorist. You're worse than a pedophile in the eyes of Allah. Wow. Okay, guys. That's it. You heard it. The Christians think prayerlessness is the worst sin. The Muslims say prayerlessness is the worst sin what what where, where do you begin with these religions that the single act of not praying is worse than being a murderer being a rapist being a, a pedophile guys let me know what you think about prayerlessness being the worst sin do you agree or not okay guys i will catch you on the next video thank you